Hi, as promised, today I will give you some tips on what to prepare before your interview. I can imagine why many of you want to become a cabin crew. Ako nga nag FA. In fact, I was a cabin crew for 27 years. 1987 pa lang when I joined the airline. Kaya when it comes to experience, marami ako niyan. Lalo ngayon, director na ako ng cabin services ng airline namin. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you will be updated whenever I upload another informative video. Para lalo kayong ma-excite sa ating dream job, panoorin nyo muna ito. Imagine nyo, kayo ito. So, let's watch. Have you ever felt that you were born to travel the world? To enjoy nature's beauty and explore where few people have gone? Well, at least that's how I feel. To make the world your playground. Conquer your fears. Experience culture and history. And discover yourself. That's what life is all about anyway, right? Most people will work to travel, but for us, we're lucky to walk in both worlds. To work is to travel. It wasn't easy getting here, though. The trainings challenged you physically, mentally, and emotionally. I never thought it would be this intense. You will then realize the importance of having a heart for service. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome, Nathan. At the end of each day, you feel motivated to do more, to welcome challenges and opportunities, to take your skills to the next level, and let your dreams take flight. Besides, not everyone gets a chance to work for a four-star global airline. Oh, exciting, diba? Your interview will make or break your chance to be an FA. That is why it is very important that you come prepared. Your preparation should have started from the time you decided to submit your resume. Diba I gave you tips on how to make your resume? If you haven't seen the video, now is the time to watch it. Later, I will give you the email address kung saan mo ipapadala ang resume mo. You may be called for, for the interview. HR will send you a text or email or call, but it does not change the qualifications we are looking for. Review the video on this channel to check if you are qualified. If you know in your heart let's say, no, that you are not qualified, for example, kulang ka sa height, or you are not yet ready, medyo mataba ka pa, please don't go. Sayang ang effort mo. Sayang ang pagpila nyo, lalo na pag open day. From experience, thousands come to apply on open days. Let us now proceed to the five tips. Tip number five, understand the instructions sent to you via text, email, or call. So, dapat intindihin mo, no? Usually, yung instructions na nakakalagay dun sa text, email, or sa tawag sa'yo from HR, unang-una, when is the interview? So, kailan? Anong time gagawin yung interview? 
kailangan maintindihan mo to, baka kasi mamiss mo yung opportunity to be interviewed pag nagkamali ka dito. Number two, where will it be conducted? Saan yung venue ng interview? Para alam mo kung saan ka pupunta. Number three, what to bring? Ano yung kailangan mong dalhin? Ano yung mga documents? Sasabihin naman yon sa instructions ng HR. And number four, what to wear? Ano yung dapat mong isuot? Especially for the ladies, sasabihin doon, nakaskirt. So dapat nakaskirt. Huwag kang pupunta sa interview na nakapantalon. Yun ha, you have to learn to follow instructions. Okay? So that's tip number five. For tip number four, prepare what to bring. So ihanda mo na yung mga dapat mong dalhin, no? Especially yung resume mo, transcript of records, diploma kung available na. You also have to bring your passport at saka yung photos. Usually, ang nire-require yung 2x2, two no? Na ID photo. And there are times, kasama na rin yung portrait at saka full body photo. Sasabihin naman ito doon sa text, email, or call ng HR. And of course, you also have to bring a pen. No? Magdala kayo ng ball pen kasi meron kayong fill out na application form when you get to the venue. Importante din siguro na magdala kayo ng panyo or ng, ng pamaypay no? just in case mainit dun sa venue para naman hindi kayo masyadong pagpawisan. For the ladies, importante ito, magdala kayo ng makeup, no? Kasi, there will be an opportunity for you na mag-retouch. No? Kasi, pagka, lalo pag pinawisan na kayo, halos nabubura na yung makeup nyo, no? So, you have to bring your makeup, especially your, your lipsticks, para laging fresh yung mukha nyo. And of course, for everybody, you have to bring your grooming kit para makapag-ayos-ayos kayo before you are called for the interview. Mahalaga din, magdala kayo ng extra money kasi there are times masyado mahaba yung pila, masyado mahaba yung interview to the point na aabutin ka na ng lunch time or merienda time. So para in case na magutom ka, meron kang pambili ng lunch mo or ng merienda mo. Importante rin you bring your notes, no? Kung meron kang research na nire-review or yung mga yung mga questionnaires, no? Yung questions that may be asked during the interview na na-research mo, dalin mo 'yon para magkaroon una-una para maging busy ka while waiting and at the same time magkaroon ka rin ng confidence. No, kasi nga, dahil meron kang alam, meron kang stock knowledge dyan, you are confident na, ah, pag ako tinanong, kaya kong sumagot. And siguro, magbaon ka, rin, ka na rin ng prayer. No? Kasi ito yung ginawa ko nung ako ay uh, naghihintay for my interview nung nag-apply ako sa airline. No? Lagi ko inuulit-ulit sa sarili ko para lumakas yung loob ko kasi syempre nakaka-nervyos, di ba? Uh, like ko inuulit yung Isaiah 41.10 Yung fear thou not for I am with you Be not dismayed for I am your God no? So yun, inuulit-ulit ko yun sa sarili ko To give me confidence So that's tip number 4 For tip number 3 Prepare what to wear Usually naman sa FA interviews You are required to wear business or corporate attire. Make sure your clothes are well-pressed and clean. So, kailangan planchayin natin yan na maganda. And, dapat din natin tandaan na yung isusuot natin ay maganda yung fitting sa atin. No? Siyempre, the company does not require you naman to buy new clothes. No? Pero pwede naman kayong manghiram. But make sure pag kayo ay humiram, maganda yung fit sa inyo. Hindi siya masyadong masikip to the point na magmumukha kayong mataba. 
at hindi rin siya masyadong maluwag to the point na magmumukha naman kayong sobrang payat. So, kailangan mag-complement sa physical features nyo yung damit nyo. Kaya, make sure tamang-tama yung fitting nito. You don't have to buy. Manghiram na lang muna kayo kasi naghahanap pa lang kayo ng trabaho so wag muna tayo masyadong magastos. Another thing, yung sapatos. Make sure polished siya or malinis no bago siyang shine kasi tinitingnan din natin 'yan and it should be coordinated with your attire for the ladies it is advisable for you to wear shoes with heels wag kayong pupunta sa interview for cabin crew position na naka flat shoes and make sure for the ladies no stockings So that is tip number three. For our tip number two, you have to practice speaking in front of the mirror. So ito na yung preparation mo na talaga on how to present yourself to the interviewers. So practice ka para makita mo yung itsura mo habang nagsasalita, makita mo yung smile mo, at uh, makorek mo yung mga mistakes o yung mga flaws mo pagka nagsasalita ka. Ito rin yung time para ma- mag-practice ka ng grooming mo. Saan ba maganda yung hati mo? Ano ba yung magandang itsura ng buhok o makeup o whatever? Dito practice mo na the day before. ha Kasi if you will de- do this tomorrow, kung bukas na interview mo, baka mataranta ka. So you have to do it now para meron ka pang time i-correct kung merong mali. Okay? So, dito rin sa, sa time na to, ito rin yung uh, opportunity for you to Google, no? How to get to the venue. Alamin mo kung saan yung venue para ma-estimate mo yung time na kailangan uh, para makarating ka doon early, no? Kasi usually, ang interview natin or registration starts at 9 o'clock. So, kailangan malaman mo kung gano'ng kalayo o kalapit sa yung venue para ma-estimate mo yung time na aalis ka sa bahay. And make sure, no, magbigay ka ng allowance around uh, an hour to an hour and a half para pagdating mo sa venue, fresh na fresh ka. At kung kailangan man, pwede ka magpunta sa, sa restroom para ayusin mo yung sarili mo before you present yourself to the interviewers. Especially, kunyari, open day, no? open day hiring. Usually, by the thousands yung dumarating. So, pag open day hiring, siguro you have to come as early as 6 o'clock para mauna ka sa pila. And at least, no, uh, kung mauna ka sa pila, before lunch time, definitely tapos ka na sa interview. So, ganun lang. No? Uh, you have to come early, but you can only do that if you will find out kung gaano kalayo o kalapit yung venue sa iyo. Okay, so that's tip number two. And last but not the least, tip number one. Check your social media accounts. Ensure there are no posts that will reflect negatively on you. Kasi tinitingnan ito. Make sure wala ka nilalagay doon sa iyong Facebook or sa iyong Instagram na negative. Let's say, yung ikaw yung lagi nag o nagbabash ng tao sa social media account mo, ito yung time siguro since you are applying for the position, ito yung time na i-delete mo na muna sila. Kasi pag nakita yan ng interviewer, pwede kang ma-disqualify or pwede kang hindi consider for the position kasi nakikita nila yung attitude mo na nambubuli ka or uh, mahilig kang mag-criticize ng mga tao. Kasi pwede i-construe yan or pwede i-perceive yan na ah, pag nagtrabaho sa atin to, magiging reklamador to. Marami tong irereklamo sa kumpanya. Okay, but at doon din, no, uh, pwede rin makita doon, kunyari, ikaw yung mahilig gumimik o nagpo-post ka na, na lagi kang, kunyari, nagwawalwal o nalalasing, no, 
Ah, uh, pwedeng tingnan kasi ang ang cabin crew kailangan to discipline ka especially when it comes to um reporting for duty, no? Uh, hindi ka pwedeng pumasok o mag-report na nakainom ka within 24 hours. So kung ikaw makikita doon sa social media account mo na lagi kang laseng and you really enjoy drinking, then uh, magsa-second thought yung interviewer when it comes to hiring you. no? So make sure, linisin muna natin yung ating social media account kasi it may reflect negatively on you. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the five tips to remember before you have your FA interview. So ito, ginagawa lahat to at least, no, the day before your interview. Huwag niyong itong gagawin during the interview, the day of the interview itself, kasi matataranta kayo at baka dahil sa taranta nyo at nervous nyo, at dahil dumating kayong hindi prepared, you might miss your opportunity to get your dream job. Okay, so i-review natin yung five tips na to and uh, let's just follow it and I'm sure uh, it will be a big help to all of you. Again, I would like to request you to please subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be updated whenever I upload another informative video. And siguro naman, kung nagustuhan nyo tong um, video na to, you can share it to your friends and paki-like na rin at mag-comment kayo if, or if you have uh, uh, you have uh, suggestions no yung mga gusto niyong pag-usapan natin you can put it in the comment box and uh, i will come up with a with a video to address your concern our next video will be about the day of the interview itself so ngayon di ba preparation to yung next video natin tungkol na to sa what to do during the interview. So, interview tips na ito. I will also make a video on the interview process. So, il- ano yung mga stages ng interview. And another video on hiring process. At uh, another video on training. And more videos on cabin crew life. At marami pa. Sa so, 27 years ko as a cabin crew, and five years as director of InFlight, I have so much to share. Kaya nga, for cabin crew aspirants, uh, this is an opportunity for you to really be mentored and guided para ma-attain nyo inyong, inyong cabin crew dream. For qualified FA aspirants who have not yet sent their resume to me, you may send it to my company email, leonides underscore pena at pal.com.ph. I promise as soon as receive ko, I will acknowledge with a reply and uh, I will forward your email to HR for them to process it. And uh, once we resume hiring, they will surely call you for interview. Just make sure that all information that you put into your resume are accurate and true. So especially, no, kasi lagi namin nagiging problem when it comes to height. May mga applicants, lalagay nila doon 5'7", 5'8", pero sa totoo, ang height pala nila is 5'4". No, that's for the gentlemen. Ang, ang minimum natin kasi is 5'6". Ganun din sa ladies, minsan lalagay nila 5'4", Pero in reality, 5-1 lang. So make sure you put in the correct information para wala tayong problema, para hindi masayang yung pagpunta nyo for the interview. So there, I hope nakatulong ako sa preparation nyo, sa FA dream nyo. And I pray that soon I will be flying with you Wag kayong kabahan. God said, no, sa Isaiah, sabi niya, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. 
I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So for now, mabuhay and God bless to all of you. I'll see you in our interview.